Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will go through 2023 HSC papers with you. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. Question 37. A person with a taxable income of 90,000 will pay a tax of 28% of that income tax. So in another word, the person have to pay 25.8% of $90,000. And this is exactly the same as using this table here. Okay, so let me just work out 25.8% of $90,000 first. So just go tax is equal to 90,000 dollars with times 25.8 percent percent mean per hundred so that's will give me so just go 90 one two three which is times 25.8 over a hundred so there you go twenty three thousand two hundred and twenty dollars so $23,220, that is tax payable. So if we look at this table here, okay, we need to work out the value of X. To work out the value of X, so $23,220 is the tax. We can also work out by using the tax table. Okay, so the tax table is, we need to pay this amount of tax plus x cents for each dollar that's over seventy eight thousand eight hundred dollars so let me just work out the tax by using the table so that means tax is equal to eighteen thousand two hundred and ninety two dollars and we add x cents so just x and every dollar that over seventy eight thousand eight hundred dollars so i just go and the taxable income is this. So 90,000 with minus $78,800. So that is 18292. We add so $90,000 with minus 78800. So $11,200. So 11200x, okay? That's what that meant. But this means that this is the amount of tax is exactly the same as this. So let me just equate this and we just need to solve for x. That's all it is, okay? So we just go 18292. We add 11200x is 23220. And I move this on that side. So that becomes 23220 with minus 18,292. So I just go 23220 minus 18292. So that is. 4,928, 4,928, that is 11,200x. So what I do, I just divide by 11,200 on both sides. So I just go 4,928 divided by 11,200. So there you go, 0 0.44. So X is 0 0.44. So therefore, X is 44 cents because this is dollar, okay? 0 0.44 dollars. So that is X is 44 cents. So there you go. Question 38. So first of all, we know the mean is 10.40 kilograms. 
and the standard deviations is 1.15 kilograms and we need to work out the expected weight for more than 11.93 kilograms so first of all let me just explain how the table work first and we know the table given here is the probability of z less than a number for example probability of z that less than 1.31 so this one here so that is equal to 0 0.049 that's what that meant okay because it's z is less than so keep that in mind so now we need to work out the probability that is greater than 11.93 kilograms so that is x so we need to convert this into z score first so let me just convert that into z score so the z score is x minus x bar over the standard deviations so the score is 11.93 and we minus the mean the mean is 10.40 and we divide by the standard deviation which is 1.15 so that will give me so fractions 11.93 minus 10.4 over 1.15 so there you go 1.3304 and so on just correct to two decimal place 1.33 because the table give us up to two decimal place okay keep that in mind so now is z score is one point three three so we need to work out the probability that is x greater than one one point nine three kilograms so that is exactly the same as probability of z greater than one point three three okay because eleven point nine three kilograms is equal to the z score 1.33 so keep that in mind and this is exactly the same as 1 minus the probability z less than 1.33 because the probability greater than 1.33 plus the probability less than 1.33 is equal to 1 keep that in mind so that is equal to 1 minus so the probability that z less than 1.33 we look at the chart here so 1.33 is here so 0 0.9082 that is the probability so minus 0 0.9082 so that is equal to so just go 1 minus 0 0.9082 so there you go, 0 0.0918. So 0 0.0918. But we need to find the expected number of koalas that is greater than 11.93 kilograms. So we just go. So the expected number of koalas that greater than 11.93 kilogram is this. 1, 8 and we times by 400 so that is answer times 400 so there you go 36.72 but then we because we're talking about the numbers of koalas so which is need whole number so 36 okay so which is equal to 36 koalas So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.